guys? The Dude Shaving back again for another exciting video. I hope everybody is doing great. I'm doing fucking great. And it's a beautiful day, man. I'm off today. I already had my breakfast. I had uh, some coffee. I'm about to have some more coffee. Boom! Check that out. My wife got that for me for Father's Day, man. Isn't that super damn cool? So, today, we'll be going in with Latherheads. Yes, that is me. And originally, it wasn't going to be sold to the public. This was just a little um, thing me and Magic Mike wanted. We wanted our faces on a soap. But as soon as we posted it on the Rich Man Shaving Group, everybody wanted one. Here's uh, Magic Mike right here. That is this aftershave and splash. This is candy scented. Watermelon candy with a hint of sour. This will be my first time going... Um, Sorry, trying Ginger's Garden. So, we'll see what's up, man. And obviously, I'm going to give my my opinion, you know? It, whether it be bad, whether it be good, man. I'm not here to bullshit you guys. So, let's get into it. So, I'll be going in with that soap. I'll also be going in with a um, Wade and Butcher. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a hollow ground Wade and Butcher. Look at that little guy. Fucking awesome. And as well as my wolf whiskers. All right, it's already uh, somewhat preloaded and pre-whipped. So, with that being said, let's get into the damn shave. Let's go, fellas. And the scent mat, honestly, for me, she nailed it. All right, I didn't think it was going to be this good, but yeah, it smells exactly like watermelon candy. Now that sour note that I wanted. It's, it's very faint, so I wish that that would have been up a bit more cranked up, but I can only imagine how hard it must be to come up with a damn sour note. So I, I, I kind of understand, you know? But the candy scent, man, Irina from Ginger's Garden, you did nail that. And I managed to lather this shit last night. And it gives a wicked leather. It's, it's really nice, man. It, it is on par with, like, Soap Commander, like David Gonzalez was telling me. He's actually the one that referred me to Irina. So, David Gonzalez, <laughs> so sharp David, I mean. Hey, bro, thank you, man. But, yeah, there you go. Let me add a little bit more water. I'm very happy with this soap. And I can't wait to see the reviews. I am CDB. Thank you, man. Thank you for reviewing that soap, and I'm glad you liked it. Unfortunately, you did get a tingling sensation. And um, honestly, I didn't. I had the soap on my face last night for about 15 minutes. And I honestly didn't feel anything. So, win for me. Hopefully, it's a win for you guys as well. Everybody's skin's different, man. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all I need. There we go. Like I said, I pre-whipped it, added a little bit of water, and I actually used a bowl this time because I was just kind of seeing how much water this thing can handle. Check out this bowl, dude. This is from the Cayenne Workshop over there on Etsy. Look them up. Look at this. Artistic, man. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's literally one of my favorite bowls. I don't have too many. I have like three. Still, one of my favorites. All right. Let's get into the shave. This is my first time using this blade. This is, oh, this is from John Shave Shop. I had the pleasure of talking to him. Really cool dude. He finished uh, this this on a Azuku stone, I believe. So yeah, we'll see his edges. He has about 20 years plus of experience honing. So check him out, man. His Etsy store filled with uh, nice, nice blades. And if uh, you want something special, he can find it for you. He's your guy. All right, let's get into it. Ooh. Uh oh, I think I took off too much sideburn there. Whoops. It's all right. Now I am dipping it, dipping it in the water, but <sighs> whatever. I was gonna start wiping it on my uh, on my towel, but. It's kind of a hassle. <laughs> I don't like it. I'll just be really careful since I've already, I think I've ruined like two edges already tapping that bitch on the sink. 
Uh. Oh, and then I dropped my boker on cement. My brand new fucking boker on cement. Wow. This blade is so small. Okay, let's see, let's approach the chin area. Oh, and guys, I totally forgot to mention this, and I need to. One thing that I didn't like about my soap, let me show you. One thing I didn't like, I gotta be real, I gotta be real. You see this yellow border here? It's, it's uneven. Like it was unevenly cut. And right here where it says heads, it's a little bit smudged. I don't like that. Uh, that <laughs> if I'm being honest, it kind of angers me a bit. I'm a label guy. Okay? That's the only reason. That's one of the only reasons I buy soaps, man. Because the fucking labels. You know, that the labels intrigue me, man. If the soap sucks, but your label's fucking on point, I'm buying that shit, man. I don't care. I'm a label guy. And I know a lot of you are too. Man, this shit is tiny. But it's cutting well. It felt a little bit tuggy, this blade, here in this area. But we'll see how it goes against the grain. I might have cut myself there. No, I guess not. Cool. All right. The soap seemed to kind of dissipate a bit, but honestly, yesterday I did manage to get a great lather. Uh, I think I introduced a little bit too much water in that bowl. I'm not used to bowl lathering. I'm mostly a face lather. Mm. John, I love you, man, but uh, it does seem a bit tuggy. Yeah, it's a bit tuggy. Still getting a great shave, but you know, I have to be honest, bro. I know I am CDB, he loves your edges. All right, ah, you get that nice whiff of, of candy on your face. God, I love it. It's, it's kind of girly, the scent, it's kind of girly, but I love it. I love those sweet candy scents, man. Oh! And another thing, guys, you might be wondering, where the fuck is your mirror? Okay, <laughs> I went to clean it, right? And unbeknownst to me, it was literally held on by one fucking little pin. You can't even see it. One tiny pin, and I'm pretty sure that's not on a 2 by 4 That is probably on fucking drywall. So as I was cleaning it, the motherfucker drops on me, and I end up breaking a piece off the fucking mirror. Ah, oh, man, where is it? Oh, here it is. Little piece off the fucking mirror, dude. The, uh... The frame. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what to do here. Honestly, I didn't really like that fucking background. It was pretty ugly. I mean, David Gonzalez even. So sharp David. Sorry, I keep calling him David Gonzalez. Uh, so sharp David. He even said that he fucking hates that display. And he's right. It looks fucking stupid. Especially because you can see the fucking uh, the camera and all that bullshit. So, yeah, dude, I got to figure something out there. Uh, maybe, like, get some artwork or something, man. Because that, that did look kind of tacky. Comment down below if you thought that looks tacky. Trust me, dudes. You won't hurt my feelings, all right? Trust me. Okay. It was tuggy, but it did cut extremely close. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing. But, yeah, it did cut really damn close. All right. Let's get it. Maybe... 
Maybe it's because this blade's super fucking light. I mean, look at this little guy. This is the smallest blade that I have ever used. And I know, I'm on my 14th, no, 15th straight razor shave. And, you know, you might think I don't have the experience, but I have like 11 or 12 straight razors already. <laughs> and I felt different edges already. I like to move fast, guys, all right? It's probably my, my ADD right there. I need everything fast, everything. I'm going to set my own edge on a gold dollar and a commissory today. So wish me luck, guys. I already have all my stones, and I'm fucking ready. And I am fucking ready. I cannot wait. I'm going to go on a uh, hop on a live or a group chat with, with Gonzo from Rocking and Shaving with Gonzo. If you guys have not checked him out, please consider checking him out. He is such a cool dude, high energy, very positive guy. All right? And I am glad to say that he is my friend. He really is. Awesome guy. If you want to hop in that live, we'll be in the Rich Man Group. In about, at about, I don't know, maybe 1 p.m. Pacific time. 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, yeah. These little blades are kind of hard, man. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tuggy, guys. All right. Yeah, that's it. A little tuggy. That was a shave, though. All right, fellas. That was the shave. Oh, sorry. Fuck, you know what? I always forget the aftershave, guys. Always. I don't know why. And Chris, you mentioned that this shit's tacky. I tried it on last night. It is tacky. But you know what? Oh, yeah. It gives you that nice burn. But you know what? Once it dries down, and I believe you mentioned this, once it dries down, your skin feels fucking great. So, Irina, props on that. Now, let's see. There's a synthetic cooling agent in this aftershave. Let's, let's see. Okay, I'm starting to feel it. When I put it on yesterday without shaving, I didn't feel shit. At all. Like, at all. But, uh, now that I kind of scraped the skin, yeah, it's, it's sneaking up. It is sneaking up on you. And the scent's amazing. You do kind of get that sour note in the back. Again, not as much as I wanted, but hey, it's there. She did a good job. Except on the labels. Sorry, Irina. Uh, but yeah, now that was the shave. All right, guys? So thank you for joining me. If you would like to purchase this shit, go uh, head on our, Irina's um, website. I'll link that shit down below, all right, guys? I'll link that shit down below. It's about $48, but that's what the tax and the shipping, all right? So uh, catch you later. Doom!